Hello, hello, hashtag Health, Wealth, Life, Day 159. Woo, 159 days into this year. So, I had a brain breakthrough, or a breakthrough with my brain, either way around, it works. Um, and here it is. So, I was listening to a specialist about Feldenkrais. If you don't know what that is, look it up. And it's a, a series of treatments that actually can help with autistic kids. They're having massive breakthroughs with um, kids with learning disabilities, uh, particularly autism. And um, also people who've had uh, suffered injuries, brain injuries, or been in car accidents, so on and so forth, and actually have had loss of movement, loss of function in their body, and, and a bit and a, a diff disability in uh, taking on new information and connecting with the body. So the point being that the body can actually lead the mind. Uh, Hannity, how are you? Hope you're well. Um, you probably know about uh, all about Feldenkrais, Feldenkrais technique. Um, fascinating, really fascinating. Anyway, the breakthrough I had was the brain, thank you for sharing, by the way. Orlando, how are you, mate? Hope you're well. Um, the brain is very different to the body. So the brain functions much more effectively on efficiency and stimulus. So the body reacts well to stimulus. But this is what I had a conversation with a client of mine. And um, I was saying that I can get a great result with the body and bodies. And, and the body can, act, can look amazing after a series of um, attempts of uh, certain applications and techniques. Uh, and that's done through repetition. But the brain is not the same thing. So I've been treating my brain most of the time, thinking that the brain and the body are connected and they're, they're very similar. And they're in the same, we're, we're in the same space, right? But the brain works very differently. So think about how effective, uh, mindfulness is a big word right now, but meditation. So brain training, as I like to call it. Think about how effective that is. It's actually not doing anything in terms of movement of what the body can relate to. It's actually stimulating the brain by doing a little bit less. You actually calm everything down. And that's one of the points with the Feldenkrais technique and, and uh, having an impact on autistic children. They're hypersensitive. So what it was was taking down all of the stimulus, taking it down to a bare minimum, and then really slowly processing one of the stimulus or as least as least amount of stimulus as possible. And then you get the effect. Another thing was golfers, uh, for instance, changing your patterns. So where's the tip in this? So the tip is changing your patterns. This is where I'm going with this. So golfers, swing, if you're right-handed golfer, swing with the left hand and do it super slow, half speed. You could do this with your toothbrush. If you brush your teeth with your right hand, Try it with your left hand tonight before you go to bed or when you get up in the morning or both and do it with your left hand and be real super slow and conscious about it. I prefer to call it the mindfulness because it gets a bit vague. It's go super conscious, super slow. So do it really slow and be aware of the whole movement, your arm, your muscles, your fingers, where's it touching on your teeth and your gut. Do that. Go a different way to work. I've talked about stimulating the brain and increasing dopamine. Now, this is another uh, viewpoint. Hi, Kate. How are you? And Virginie, hope you're well. Hope you both had great days. So talking here about stimulating the brain, having a breakthrough. So here's my breakthrough that you, you need to stimulate the brain. Try slowing everything down just for a period of time, two, three minutes. Slow it all down. Really go slow. And after doing that, for instance, taking someone on the treadmill, the first 60 seconds, go super slow and get someone to go, that's what I've been doing with clients, go really slow and then go into the sprint sessions or whatever the, the plan is. So you'll find you'll get a better response. You'll actually get a better performance from the body because you've stimulated and treated your brain in a different way and switched on neural pathways, neural pathways even, uh, that actually can have an impact on our physical performance. So a slightly different approach to the brain. That's the breakthrough. We, it's not about pounding the reps on the brain because it can get fatigued. It's about being efficient and it's about stimulating. What is the best and most effective way to stimulate? And slowing things down, doing things super conscious, super slow is a way of stimulating your brain really well. So here's the tip, gonna round it up. Stimulate your brain, not through pounding repetition, but through efficiency, super slowness, super consciousness. Add little sprinkles of that into your day. Brush your teeth with your opposite hand. Take a slightly different route to work. Stand up and sit down at a super, super slow speed. You might look weird if people are looking at you, but you'll get the benefit from it. And maybe they'll think, hey, that's different. And they're behaving and performing differently, better even. I'll try what they're doing. So we can actually have a positive impact on other people. I'll leave it there because I could talk for a while about this, but 
take on the points, do me one last favor and just type a quick summary in the comment box of uh, what you got from this video. I'd really appreciate that. And then also press that share button, it takes you a split second and press that thumbs up. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is I'm creating a private group. If you're interested in joining it, there'll be a community building up in there. It's gonna be one pound a month and I guarantee you I'll over deliver. I guarantee you, I'll get you special offers from products that I've tried and tested and will only boost your health and your wellness and your wealth. And I'll give you insights. I'll be doing webinars. I'll be doing private talks and now I'll be expanding on points and sharing insights with you. So if you're interested in joining that group, I guarantee you I'll over deliver on that one pound a month, uh, every single month, then type private group in the comment box or send me a message as some of you have uh, saying private group. All right, that's it. Have an amazing rest of the day. And remember, happy is a skill that you can learn. And this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Slow it down, super slow, super conscious. Let's get some health wealth, take the world with us, and I'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Have an amazing rest of the day.